Hey guys, so today I feel exactly how I look. It's had the same headache for like three days. I also went out into my living room to get my phone and I brought back my TV remote. So that's how today has gone. Today I have swatches of the Zoya Barefoot Collection for summer 2019. There are 12 polishes here all together. I believe these are available on the website right now. They have a little bit of a box deal going on. So these are supposed to be available right now according to an email that I got two days ago. There's a link in this email that goes to a box deal and then also the individuals. The box deal has 12 of the wide brushes, a couple of lipsticks, the Hydrate and Heal like hand cream moisturizing kit and then one of the big flipper bottles of polish remover. I don't really know, I can't find it on the website, like even if I search for names of the polishes, nothing's coming up, but I can get to it through the link in the press release email that I got. So I don't really know what's going on there. But I will link what I have, like the direct link that I have to the collection down below because I can't really find it through the Zoya website, but it does say that it's available now and that it begins shipping on May 6th. So 12 polishes here all together. I will put that link down below and let's get into the swatches. So the first polish is called Joey and this is a very, very light kind of peachy pink. And I did switch all of these polishes to the wide brushes that Zoya offers as an add-on. This is a little bit streaky on that first coat, but it covers pretty well for being a light color, and you can see those streaks do kind of level themselves out as it dries as well. Good formula on this one also. Not too thick, not too thin. So this one does start to build up on that second coat. I think some people might be able to get away here, get away with two here. I can't speak. Because it levels itself out really nicely. I'm going to let it completely dry before I call it that nail actually looks pretty good into. I just got done with the swatch pictures for this collection and I was swatching them in like direct sunlight. And I ended up adding a third coat to most of the polishes because it was hard for me to tell if I was seeing streaks or not because the sun was so bright. It's looking right on the edge for me up close. I'm gonna let that dry all the way, but I'm most likely gonna come back for a third coat. So I am adding a third coat to this one. It didn't need it on every nail, but I still had a couple of dark spots. They were pretty minor, but I did wanna cover them up. I think this one will definitely be two or three coats just depending on your application. And it does dry pretty shiny as well. So that is three coats of Joey. The next polish is called B and this is a very light pastel yellow. So this is pretty streaky on that first coat. I was actually very disappointed with this on the first coat, but you'll see when I do the second, it actually built up really nicely. And a good formula on this one as well. It's not thin at all, which I was surprised about. What in the world? I'm having a really bad fuzzies in my polish day. But I was expecting this to be thinner than it was, which it's not, and that's a good thing. So this one does start to build up pretty well on that second coat, especially considering how sheer the first coat was, but there are still streaks. It will definitely need three. Over here I had, I don't know if you saw it in the last swatch, I had a little part of my nail that was fraying and I grabbed it with tweezers and yanked on it and it pulled like a whole little strip of nail. It was like a hangnail, it was horrible. I'm not sure, I feel like hmm, maybe. I feel like maybe you could get away with two coats of this if you're not super picky, but I'm a three coater today. So this one does cover completely in three coats. These streaks and dark spots and stuff that were left after two were pretty minor, but definitely more apparent than in the last polish. I think this one's way more of a candidate to be a solid three coater than the last one. And this one also dries pretty shiny. So that is three coats of B. The next polish is called Tessa and this is a peachy neutral shade with, hopefully it picks up, this orangey kind of copper shimmer that runs throughout it. So this one is also a bit sheer on the first coat. It's a little bit more jelly-ish than the last ones because you want that shimmer to show through. So even though it's sheer, it's more even. And hopefully the camera is picking it up because the shimmer is standing out pretty nicely. And good formula on this one as well. Oh, Cricket, come on. Sorry, she's like the neediest cat in the world today. So this one does start to cover a bit more on that second coat. I can still see a bit of nail line, so I'm gonna do a third. And this one does dry just a teensy tiny bit dull. So this one does cover completely in three coats. It was very close in two, but not quite there. I do feel like this dries just a little bit darker than it is when it's wet. And there's no texture at all to that shimmer when it dries. 
So that is three coats of Tessa. So the next polish is called Eleni, I believe, and this is an almost like minty blue cream. So this one is pretty sheer on that first coat, and there are quite a few streaks. This is another one that I was kind of bummed about on the first coat, but it does build up pretty nicely after that first coat. The formula on this one is just a little bit thin for me. I wish it was a tiny bit thicker. So this one does start to build up pretty nicely on that second coat, but it does still need a third. I have a few streaks, or at least I will have a few streaks. I had a few streaks when I did my pictures. And this one does seem to dry pretty shiny as well. And yes, those ridges on my ring finger and my pinky finger are still there because I still have not replaced my buffing block and it's been like at least a month. So this one does cover completely in three coats. Most of those streaks were fairly minor, but I still think they were enough to warrant a third coat. And let's see if I can like really slap it on this nail and cover up that ridge. So that is three coats of Eleni. The next polish is called Kira, and this is a kind of taupe shade that is full of this coppery shimmer. So this one is also a bit sheer on that first coat, but you can see a ton of that shimmer. There are some brush strokes through it when it's wet, but even wet, they are very minor. And good formula on this one as well. So this one actually covers really well on that second coat. I believe I did, mm, did I do two or three for my pictures? Wow, it was like an hour ago and I already can't remember. I'm gonna look really closely at this though because I think I'll be okay in two coats. Yes, this one is covering really well in two coats. This one will dry, I mean it's still wet right now, but it will dry a smidgen dull, so you will want top coat. But that is two coats of Kira. The next polish is called Daisy, and this is a bright pink. So this one is a little bit sheer on that first coat. I have to tell you guys, when I was swapping out the wide brushes here, I didn't really start looking at the brushes until about halfway through the collection. And I was noticing that there were some little fuzzies coming off of the brushes, not bristles, but like actually just little fuzzies, coming off of the brushes, like as soon as I pulled them out of the box, like out of the box and look, and there were fuzzies stuck to the bristles. And I actually stuck, oh, see there's one right there. I actually stuck the brushes in half the bottles without even noticing. And then the other half I had to clean off. And this one especially, I've been having a real hard time with those fuzzies coming out and getting in the polish. And I know I have like cotton ball fuzz that comes off my nails all the time anyway. But these ones were on the brushes straight out of the box. So watch out for that. So this one, it does start to build up in the second coat. It is really close to being opaque here. But when I did my swatch pictures, once it was fully dry, I still had a couple of streaks, so I'm gonna add a third. And this is another one that does seem to dry a little bit darker than it applies. This one does cover completely in three coats. I had a couple of streaks and then some very, very, very minor nail line on a couple of nails. But I think if you're not picky, you could probably get away with two coats with this one pretty easily. So that is three coats of Daisy. The next polish is called Rye or Re, I don't know. It's dye with an R, so I'm gonna call it Rye. This is a very warm, kind of ready purple. Someday I'll stop putting a Y at the end of my color descriptions, but today is not that day. So this one is a little bit sheer on that first coat. It's fairly even, but you can tell the color is not quite as deep as it should be. And a really good formula on this one as well. i try to get some of those fuzzies out. At this point, I don't know which ones are from Cotton Ball and which ones got in the polish from the brushes that I wasn't watching. I think it's probably a good 50-50. I actually opened up the 12 brushes that went into this collection came with the collection for me. I have some other ones that are kind of stashed. I opened up some of the older ones, and there were some fuzzies around the caps, but nothing on the brushes. So that might have just been the newer ones that I got. I've gone through, I don't know, 20 or so, maybe 25-ish of the uh, wide brushes in previous Zoya collections, and today was the first time I've ever seen anything like that. So this one does cover completely in two coats. You can see that color deepens up a bit as well. And this one also dries shiny. So that is two coats of what I'm going to call rye. Oh, that's a bread. Maybe it is re, I don't know. The next polish is called Walker and this is this nice cobalt blue shade. So this one is a little bit more jelly and a little less cream than I was expecting at first. So it's fairly even, but it is overall a bit sheer on that first coat and a good formula on this one as well. So this one does start to build up pretty well on that second coat, 
but I do still have some spots that are kind of uneven. I think I only did two coats for my pictures, and after I took the picture, it was a little bit more sheer than it was in person. So I'm gonna look at this really closely after I'm done with this coat, because I might need three. It all just depends on how this goes on. The photos definitely needed three in person, I'm on the fence. Okay, I think this one is okay in person on two coats, but just know that in my photo for this, I only did two coats and it just looked like a little off. I think I should have done three for the picture. So that is two coats of Walker. The next polish is called Dallas and this is a glitter topper. There are a couple different sizes of matte white hexes and then some silver, not holographic, just metallic silver glitter. And I'm going to put this over Walker, so hopefully that silver will stand out. So this one is pretty nicely dense. I do have to do just a little bit of manipulation to get those larger white glitters spread out, but not much at all. This is going to dry textured because it is a glitter, so you're gonna to want top coat to smooth it out, and it will take a little bit more effort to remove, again, because glitter. And this isn't thick at all either. So that is one coat of Dallas. So the next polish is called Marcy. It's looking a little bit more red to me in person and a little more orange on camera, but this has a red, very like bright glowing shimmer that runs throughout it. So there are some brush strokes through that shimmer when it's wet. Those don't go away completely as it dries, but they're not very noticeable once it's fully dry. It is a bit sheer on that first coat, almost jelly-like, and good formula on this one as well. So this one it does start to build up a little bit on two coats, but I can still, see, I don't know if you can see it on camera, I can still see a decent amount of nail, nail line. So I'm going to add a third. I believe my photos for this one were three coats and they still showed a little bit of nail line, but again, kind of like with the blue, the photos tend to show things a little bit more sheer than they are in person. So this one in three coats, I can still see a little bit of nail line. It actually doesn't seem to have made made a big difference in the nail line that's showing between two and three coats. You can see a little bit of a color difference, but I think that's just because the polish dries a little bit darker than it applies, so the two coat nails looked a little bit drier. A little bit darker, not drier. Well, they are drier, but they looked a little bit darker. The nail line that's showing in this one is fairly minor. I can't see it at all when I have my hand out in front of me like this, but if I turn my nails to this angle towards my face, then I can see nail line. So that is three coats of Marcy. The next polish is called Liza, and this is, this reminds me of a brick red with a little bit of pink to it, if that makes any sense at all. So this one actually covers really well on that first coat. It is still a little bit sheer, but it's pretty even definitely lighter on that first coat than it should be compared to the bottle and good formula on this one. So this one does cover completely on that second coat and you can see that color deepens a bit as well and this one also dries pretty shiny. So that is two coats of Liza and the last polish is called Robbie and this is a kind of raspberry shade like a shimmery raspberry shade. It has a gold shimmer running throughout it and then these larger like little gold flakes larger and little. So this one is a little bit sheer on that first coat. The base is a little more jelly-ish. You can see there are a ton of those flakes that come out though. I'm not a huge fan of this color, just personally. I don't, it's not like ugly or anything. I just don't ever gravitate towards it, but I really like the gold flakes in here. So this one is starting to build up on that second coat. I'm gonna take a quick double look at it. I still have a little bit of nail line showing, so I'm going to come back and do a third coat for this one. Hopefully I can still get all 12 polishes on one battery with that last third coat. Usually my battery dies on the last coat of the last polish. Okay, so this one does cover completely on the third coat. I looked really closely at it after I was done with the second coat, and the only nail that I could see nail line on was my pointer finger. And I've mentioned before, I always, I think I just go in a little more cautiously with the polish on my pointer finger, so the coats always end up a little bit thinner. So I think you could pretty easily get away with two here, because I didn't need three on any of my other nails. And these little flakies that are here do dry flat. They don't need top coat to smooth out, but they do get everywhere when you take the polish off. So that is three coats of Robbie. So when I first saw the promo shots of this collection, it was B and Eleni that caught my eye initially. I really, really like these two shades and I think the whole spread 
of the, the pink and the blue and the glitter topper and these two all together just looked really, really nice. So that's why I was so bummed with both of these when they were so sheer in the first coat because these are the ones I was most excited about, but they did build up fine in three. So those two are my favorites. So that is the Zoya Barefoot Collection for summer 2019. Again, I will put that link directly to this collection down below because I'm not able to get to it otherwise on the Zoya website. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I will talk to you later. Bye.